Voilà, Claudia. Claudia, 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 please one stop, Claudia. Claudia, Claudia please. Claudia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, please. Yeah, one shot to get to the one. One more, please. One more, please. You did quick, quick. I think it has the best thing. To, the best way to describe it is that it has something for every age. So it doesn't really matter if you're like 20 or 30 or 40 or 50. It has everything for every age, and uh, in that sense, I guess it's kind of very universal. Yeah. <laughs> By the yes, big time. You a big fan of Carl? Mm -hmm. of everything, of pleats, of ruffle, of, of uh, gathered material, of feathers, of uh, linen, of silk, of knit and everything. It's a kind of new jewelry, something you can add on, on very, I wouldn't say basic, it's a boring word, but very well uh, constructed clothes with a sharp silhouette and they give a soft feminine note to it, even if the inspiration comes from uh, Beau Brumel, the Englishman who in the early 19th century moved men out of the, the colors they used to wear in the 18th century, the pink, the green, pale, and all the colors, and the lace and the jewelry to make everything dark what men still wear. They're used like, uh, uh, like jewelry. You know where they come from, if you really ask me, from what babies wear. Huh? What the French call yet, that was the idea, the color also. Lara Stone was in, in her pink thing, it was uh, something in between what the French call a liseuse, it's a bed jacket and uh, something for a baby. Huh? So that was suddenly very frivolous, very feminine, but you have to be Lara Stone to look okay in that. Huh? Okay. 